What up guys? Rabbit back again with another video. This is an alley find today. A little black and white Kmart branded television. I'm sorry if you guys can't see very well. I'm running out of daylight obviously. About 8.40 here. So if I can't shine some more light on this. Camera focus. It's all solid state. This is literally how I found it. Other than the fact that it's taken apart. It was missing those knobs. It was way dirtier before. This thing was filthy. As soon as somebody found it in their attic or basement or something, just threw it out. It had that loop antenna and that loop antenna on the back. I've already pretty much pulled it apart, tested a few things to see if it was worth fixing. Still not quite sure if it's worth fixing yet, but who knows. It'll make a nice little video, right? If it ain't worth fixing, y'all might get to see it get destroyed instead. But if it's worth fixing, hey, never know if you don't try, right? Make an attempt to fix it. Not sure who exactly owned it or any of that shit. It was just in an alley next to an old lamp as well. Not interested in the lamp, obviously. Circular loop antenna was attached here. The other one was just hanging off the machine, wasn't even connected. And man, this thing has the straightest factory antenna I've ever seen. I've got another little black and white set in the shed over here. And it ain't near as straight as this thing is. Look at that motherfucker. That thing is just practically perfect. So either somebody took fairly good, good care of this set at some point. Or they replace the antenna at some point. If we do destroy any parts that can be salvaged, will be salvaged. But, anyways, there's what the insides for the most part look like. So we can't balance this old phone. <laughs> so you guys can see better. Fly back. Picture tube. I like the way they did the resistors on there. Nifty. Clever way of mounting it. Still got a lot of sp spider webs and cobwebs and all kinds of shit in it. The bottom of the board is nasty as hell. But we're going to make an attempt to fix it at some point. This will probably be a part series. Unless we destroy it. Wind up destroying it. Well, that will just simply be another video with my buddies. Of us destroying something. But if we can fix it, it will become a parts. A parts type uh, video. Or part one, part two, you know. You know how those go. I ain't got a whole lot of time right now, so... But after doing a few checks, everything looks like it tests all right. These two resistors over here, though, kind of make me a little nervous. They don't exactly look like they're reading exactly right, but fuse ain't blown. That's good. By the way, what I'd like to try to do is give it a little power-up test see if it'll even do anything. I do not have a picture tube tester, so I did check the filament. The filament seems to be okay. So at least that's a good start, but who knows the filament, uh, the tube or whatever could have a short in it. I'm not sure. But it has UHF and VHF tuners. So it's definitely in the middle of the 70s does have a chip back there. 
There's a big transistor for you. If I'm not mistaken, that's a horizontal output trans uh, transistor. This, like I said, is not a colored set. It's just a black and white set. Ooh. Bottom of the board looks like shit, though. Probably got a bunch of shorts. I wouldn't be surprised. Look at that nest. But, like I said, it's an alley find. If it blows up, oh well. Who knows? If it works, but I'm unable to fix whatever's wrong with it, maybe I'll just give it away to somebody else I watch on YouTube. Good possibility this machine will get destroyed instead, but we'll see. Depends on the startup of this power up. It is currently plugged in. But it's on a power limiter, so I got on the dim bulb. Kind of wish I had a variac, but can't afford one right now. It's just a quick video. Let's see what it does. I got a 40 watt and a 15 watt bulb in there. It's on the 15 right now. Flip that switch. Is power but restricted. And we'll see. Hopefully everything turns out alright. But who knows, maybe we'll get some big sparks and smoke and shit. That's always fun too, right? My old meter also decided to take a crap on me today, so I had to go and essentially get a new one. $36 for that sucker. It does way more than what my old meter used to do. It's not bad. Alright. Let's hope it don't go bang. I know it going bang can be very fun at times, but in this case we kind of don't want it to go bang. Just a little bit. I'm gonna make an attempt to position this phone down here. What up? Where you at? I'm filming. Well, I didn't know where you were. I'm filming right now. Can I ask you a question? Real What's quick? up? Who do I press to put it back on TV? This button down here. This? Yeah. And you put the HDMI one. Okay, let's hope this thing don't go bang. Pops the bulb, that's all fine. Well, we have power. There goes the cat. Just what we need is a cat to fry instead of fry herself. I know it looks brighter on camera, but it's dim. But it honestly looks a little brighter than what I'd prefer it to be. So but yeah, it looks way brighter on camera. It's fairly dim though. Watch out just to help it. Which is still good. Yep. Bob went out. Okay. I don't see nothing doing anything. It doesn't smell or anything. Let's check it out. Yeah, I ain't gonna go straight hot now. 
Not until I know otherwise. Make sure it ain't smoking. I mean, it's getting dark out here, so. That, you can't see smoke and shit in the dark. Filament. No, it doesn't look like it. It's probably still not enough power. Most people probably use a 100 watt bulb. I'm taking it real careful. Especially with how shitty this board looks. Cap test good though. Ain't that a surprise. It's usually one of the first things to go. Okay. I'm gonna flip to the other light bulb. Then, if everything still seems to be checked out okay, decent. Then, I will be uh, putting both bulbs and then full power. Bulbs are swapped. Let's see how it functions, if at all. I'm check the brightness on it too. Yeah. From the sun. Here we go. Michael Bay. Might not. Who knows? Check the position of the camera one more time. If anything does interesting happen, y'all will get to see it firsthand, huh? Maybe. Right, that's not all that cool. This is kind of boring. Let's put y'all where you can actually see the internals. Then if something interesting happens, especially it being dark, Something interesting decides it's gonna blow up or spark or who knows what. You'll get to actually see it happen. This is usually how it goes. Something goes explosive and the camera's in the wrong position. <laughs> and by the time you get the camera to the position, it's gone bang and done. I'm going to have to rotate that. Maybe not. Yeah, I can use my meter to balance the light. Sorry about the bad lighting. Like I said, it's getting dark. If anything interesting happens, you guys should, uh, Get to see it go bang. Here we go. Power up time. That bulb's pretty dim too. That's good. Nothing's exploding yet.
Gotta hurt the cut a little bit. It's staticky. Ooh. That's a good sign. Made some noise. I don't know if y'all were able to hear it. Coming a little bit of a distance away. I just got that balanced. <laughs> camera right in front of the damn speaker. I don't know how well the camera's picking that noise up. There's certain moments it makes some crackles and signs of life. I guess that's a good sign. And yes, the light bulb still works with it. And then grab that pair of pliers, just in case there's voltage on those metal terminals. This one kind of broke a little bit when uh, I was trying to make sure it was free. Might be able to jerry rig something in a knob to be able to fix that. Because obviously the factory knob's not going to fit now. I'm sure these controls are dirty as hell. Okay. Let's see what it does. I'm gonna balance that old phone up there. <laughs> that's not my main driver. My main driver's an S7. That's some LG. So don't worry about that. If it gets damaged. We'll give a little more power with both bulbs now, and then we'll go direct. Let's see. I was going to just balance that up there, but it's too bright for the camera. So, go figure. The camera don't like it. Alright. Cut power. This is why you should always have a dim bobber. Hope it don't go bang. Both bulbs in circuit. As you can see, and ooh, I hear life. I definitely hear some life. See if we got a raster. Now I'm fairly inexperienced with television, so this is definitely a new one to me. Ooh, it's dim. There's definitely a picture in our minds that this is a um, uh, slow current. That is dim. 
I can see it fairly clearly on the camera and off the camera. That is pretty damn damn. That might be a weak CRT. I know if that's a weak CRT, it ain't worth fixing. It doesn't really look too much like a high hours set, but that don't mean shit. Do one of these controls back here too. Y'all can hear that squeal. Mind you, it's still running on current restriction. So, it's not going to have full power to function properly. It can function fairly decent with it. There's definitely life in it, though. Double channel is on. <laughs> yeah, it's old. Well, it didn't go pop yet. Let's see what it does plug directly into the outlet, huh? Everything so far is showing good signs. Don't mean nothing. I could plug it in and kaboom. That's why I'm turning it off in the front there. Cause now we turn it on from there. There we go. Full power now. I'm plugging it from the bulbs. Double check, make sure the power switch is off. Turn brightness and this shit down, probably halfway. It's off. It's definitely off. Here we go. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> gotta move y'all back a bit. I gotta move the TV back. So it's quarter reach. That should be far enough, I hope. Now with a full 120 going through it. Anything interesting happens now, it'll definitely happen at this point. Other than the phone falling.
Well, it's hot. It's got power now. Good news is it didn't go bang right off the bat. But once I flip the power switch, that's where we'll find out. Here we go. Still doesn't guarantee that we're going to fix it. Depends on how much shit's wrong with it. But so far, things are showing good signs. Aside from the fact that the picture tube seems dim. It is a dim and ain't worth repair. Finding a new picture tube would be pretty damn difficult. Brighter. Anyway, that. Little screen, man. Oh, looky there. Definitely had brightness. All this light here is just coming in around the picture dude from the flashlight back there. Well, definitely need some work, but I bet I could put a signal on this thing that would probably work. Guess we'll see, right? Anyways, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Whenever I get back around to it, there'll be more to come, hopefully on this machine.